Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life and today I have for you guys a shopping haul. So I partnered up with Timu and I am bringing to you four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 20 items today. If you clicked on this video going Timu, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Timu is an online shopping site. They have clothing and household items and kitchen gadgets. They have pet products and they have jewelry, tons of jewelry. They have rugs and bathroom mats. They have clothing, plus size clothing. They have baby and maternity items. They have toys, musical instruments, office and school supplies. They have kids shoes, they have women's shoes. So it's definitely a website or an app that you're going to wanna to check out. So first off, I have a blow dryer here. This is, let me just check the box. This is a 16 to 1800 watt blow dryer. Um, let me pull off the little diffuser. Well, I don't need to pull it off right now. So this is a foldable. Okay, I'm gonna pull off the diffuser here. This is a foldable hair dryer. It has the little Velcro for holding your cord together for travel. Um, I know a lot of places now have blow dryers and you don't need to travel with them quite as much. And it also has two settings for the amount of airflow. The first setting is actually really nice if you don't want if you like to blow dry your hair but you don't want it to turn into that big snarly mess like if I just blow dry on high it just snarls this all all up and it's really a pain to have to brush out but the number one blow dry is kind of like a hood that you would sit under um, at the hair salon and it's just real gentle airflow anyway it's really nice so it does come with a couple different diffusers these basically just pop on I have to be honest they are are a little bit hard to pop on and I guess on is not so hard but it is a little bit hard to pop off <laughs> come on there we go so I popped it off um, it also comes with two more attachments as well one that has the comb and one to just direct the airflow if you want real real direct so clearly I have a problem with bags because I I got I got enough of them, okay? I've always loved tote bags. And anyway, I love this bag here. It's bigger than I anticipated. The neat thing about this one, let me see if I can get a good camera angle for this. It opens to be like a big square. Can you guys see that? It opens to be a really big square. I actually have my laptop on the bottom and my laptop doesn't even fill up the entire bottom of the bag. This would be a fantastic bag if you are an Aldi shopper like me and you just wanna run in for, I don't know, maybe 10 items or something and you want something that still looks classy uh, to carry through the store, this would be the bag. I really like it. I also, let me show you, it has a great big outside pocket on it here as well. It's all the way down and just a nice throw your keys in it's deep enough that they're not going to fall out you could throw your phone your sunglasses you could put anything in those pockets i also picked up this purse i've really been into this quilted look for a while now i like the little chain detail that it has here and it has uh, no outside pockets on this one it's basically just one big open area there's just one zipper pouch it's cute it's summery it's light they had a lot of colors in this. There's the quilted pattern again. <laughs> so this here is a weekender bag, and this is just a little bit smaller, I think, than um, than the dimensions for an air travel carry-on bag. And the boys and I actually have some travel plans for this next fall, and um, I just thought this would be an excellent carry-on bag. There's one outside pocket, one nice deep outside pocket with a zipper. And then there is the main pocket, and that just opens to one big open area. There is a strap in case you want to put a shoulder strap on. It has that as well. There are two other little purses that I'm going to put photos of right here for you guys. I picked up two little pink purses for Maria. She also likes little bags. She likes to keep things in there like one bag with colored pencils, 
one bag with her little horses or her little like just I don't even know her little poly pockets and things like that something that she can just grab take in the car because when travel is always 30 minutes it's nice to have something to kind of keep your hands busy so and it's the quilted one that is her favorite because it has a zipper and everything stays put in there she loves that the strap is adjustable so she could put it up nice and tight I have two pairs of shoes to show you I this first pair here are the slip-on tennies they have a little bit more of like an athletic look athletic shoe look to them they do tie you can tie them pretty loose so you can slip them on but I'll let you know these are not the kind that like snap down you just slip your foot in maybe unless your heel was really really skinny or something but I I have to bend over and pull them on I've been wearing these around the house and well I shouldn't show you the bottom that shows you that my house floors are dirty I guess so for cheap shoes I would say they're pretty comfortable the second pair I, I chose because I liked this little um, black detail here and these are comfortable as well. They have a rounder toe, good if you are wider through the foot. These are tied. These slip on really easily because you can loosen them quite a bit so you can slip them on without two hands but obviously you're going to have to bend over to tie. All right let me show you a couple of the accessory items. So I've been seeing these headbands, these wide headbands and I've always loved head headbands. I don't wear them very often though because I feel like like the little skinny headbands they what happens is my hair always just ends up falling over the headband and it just kind of looks, I, I think it looks kind of hokey. So when I saw these, I thought these are so, so cute. So Maria got one and I got one. Hers is a little different colorway than this one. It has some more brighter colors, green and yellow in it. Um, but I really like this because with the, the big, it actually looks like I have on a little headscarf, but I don't have that extra piece down at the bottom pushing that lump out. So I really like these. It's definitely a different look for me. Um, let's see if I could do it like that. I could do it like that as well. So just a different look for me, but I do like it. Um, Easter weekend, I pulled all my hair over to a like a bun on one side here, and I thought that was cute because I kind of teased up the back so it's sort of a little bit puffed up, at least for 10 minutes. <laughs> I have pretty straight straight limp hair but uh i was able to get it to kind of puff and i thought that looked really cute with this headband here maria of course i mean she's nine she looks cute and everything and the headband looks adorable on her too so we've been loving those i'm hoping i won't need these much longer but i picked out these really thin gloves they do have the what do you call it the touch screen pointer finger which is really nice and these are really thin gloves super soft um, not a lot, you know, there isn't any like extra bulkiness to them, which is really nice because I keep these thin gloves like this in my purse and, or even in like the center console of my car. And then I have gloves when my hands are chilly in the winter or especially like next week. Okay, we've been in the 80s, upper 70s, low 80s this week, which has been just phenomenal and very, we've been setting some records. But next week it's going to get back into the 40s with some possibly some wet snow or something so these are going to come in handy for when it's not super super cold but i still want to protect my hands from the chill i love a good aviator these are a little more mirrored than i thought they were going to be <laughs> and i'm not really sure if they're quite my look um i don't know you guys tell me could i get away with wearing these at my age or not they feel a little crooked on my face i probably have to bend them just a smidge to get them just right but i mean if you want everybody looking and like checking their hair in your uh sunglasses then these are definitely the ones you want to buy okay i did a quick clothing change and this tank top is a little big i would say that i think the clothes run a little on the big side, which is not, I feel, the normal um, when you're ordering like straight from overseas companies. Uh, I do like this tank top. I like the light color. I think I would wear this with a jean jacket. I would wear this with a little jean jacket so that I, I like the little um, curved hem when I'm wearing one of my little denim jackets. I have both a white, which I think would look pretty springy and cute with this. I also have denim blue, just like the same color as my jeans, and I think that would look pretty cute. 
but this one is just a bit big. I, I'm not able, honestly, I'm not able to lift up my arms here because it's a little too big for me. Okay, this tank top too, I would say is just a little bit large. I think the, the armholes are a little low. Just really check the sizing and then look at the measurements because I think I just looked at the sizing. I didn't look at the measurements and I should have done that and I ordered everything just a little too big here. And just like the last tank top, really, really soft fabric. Bring on the sunshine. I loved this with like the little palm trees and everything. Of course, I loved it. I've always loved these with like the a ring tee, I think they might call this. And it has like the contrasting color sleeves. I don't know, it just reminds me of the early 80s. I would have gone to the tea shop, like chosen off of the wall, something to get printed onto a t-shirt. This is exactly what I would have chosen when I was like nine years old. So <laughs> I just, I absolutely love this. Again, I mean, I think it fits great around the hips here, um, but it is pretty long and I wish that I would have sized down. All right, and the next item that I wanna show you are these satin sheets. So funny story, in my newlywed years, I would get the JCPenney sale catalog and that was pretty much where I bought anything I needed, like houseware wise, was always from that end of the season, JCPenney, 70% off sale catalog. Anyway, I saw some satin sheets in there and they were sort of this really pretty green color and I thought, I'm gonna get those satin sheets. We used those satin sheets for a couple of months, maybe a little longer, and we, hated them. You'd wake up multiple times a night, the sheets were on the floor, of course you had the top sheet which would make your whole comforter fall to the floor. They were, we, we ended up just getting rid of them because we just could not take it another night. Fast forward all these years later and now it's like, oh, if, some, if there's a little friction in the bed and I have to kind of like roll and pull, <laughs> gone are the shoulders of my 20s. And so now I was like, hey, satin sheets. I might be able to like roll over and everything would just be slippery. So we're gonna give it a try again, see how it is. They feel so soft and luxurious. We'll see, I haven't put them on the bed yet. And one thing I like about these sheets is the elastic actually goes all the way around. It's not just elastic in the four corners, but the elastic goes all the way. So that is a bonus. And they look like they have nice deep pockets. There's the length that looks to be probably a 12 inch pocket, which is nice for the thicker mattresses. So these last four items are just little gadgets. So first off, I picked up this pumice stone with a handle. These work fantastic inside of your toilets if you get rust stains. Uh, we have a water conditioner and if we don't uh, keep up with the changing the filter like exactly the day that we have it on the calendar, we notice right away because we'll start getting rust stains in our toilet and these little pumice stones work fantastic for getting those rust stains off. I like to have these on hand and these have been very hard to come by at Walmart lately. I'm not really sure why, but they seem like they're always out. And when I saw this, I was like, that's definitely a getter. <laughs> So the next thing here is kind of a goofy little thing, and this actually screws onto the end of your toothpaste tube so that you don't have to keep taking uh, off and putting back on the cap. You just screw this on, and then you squeeze your toothpaste, and this little opening here, let's see, the little opening, the toothpaste comes through, the opening closes up, it seals off your toothpaste, and it's great if, like let's say that you have arthritis in your fingers and it would be hard to always um, screw and unscrew the cap. Now they do make some flip caps, which are really nice. Your favorite toothpaste doesn't have that. This is just a great option. Or even if you have like a child who's always running to you to open up the toothpaste, this works great. And then the last item here is this climbing net for a garden. And I will just kind of spread it out for you a little bit. It has the yellow strings, which attach to whatever your stakes are. And then you just stretch it tight. And you have these little areas for the like tendrils to kind of grow onto. So let's say you have like climbing pole beans or climbing cucumbers or something like that, climbing peas. This is a great little option and it's just quick. I'm just gonna be able to tie these yellow strings on, stretch it between two stakes. So I think it's about four feet long, um, just like a nice big square. 
So I will have all of the um, details in the description box below. My code is SALE6986. You can use that code to get the best prices. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this peek into all of the, or, or some <laughs> of a very, very, very minute uh, grouping of things that Timu offers. Please check the description box below and please use my code SALE6986 for the best prices at Timu. If you're watching this shopping haul video, you might like one of these videos as well. And I hope to see you over there. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye today and we will see you again soon.